Hey, this is Asha, and thank you for joining me for another episode here on Backstage Income, where I share with you how to build and grow a profitable online business or business in general. Today's uh, video is all about task management. So I'm gonna show you the task management tool that we use, and this is called Airtable. Uh, I've used other things like uh, Trello, uh, ClickUp, Asana. They're all great in their own way for certain specific things, and I think they're all great tools. Uh, for our team, we try to cut the extra slack in between and just kind of continue doing things where we're already working on. And we, we were working and we do a lot of work in Airtable, so uh, because of that, we tried to see, hey, how can we do task management as well in Airtable? The one downside is kind of the notifications are not the greatest with Airtable, uh, but if you have one central place where you're getting your tasks, then um, ultimately it's pretty good. Um, so I'll share with you some thoughts here about it, and uh, let's check it out. Okay, so if you've never seen Airtable, here is our Airtable master task list, and we found that it keeping all the tasks in one spot is the best approach and then having other people going in and doing those uh, tasks uh, seems to work out better. Uh, that way you just have one main master uh, list. Now if you've never used Airtable, we're going to have a link in the description. Feel free to sign up. It's free. Uh, that way we just get referral credit and passes it along in case you want to buy it in the future. But here what you can do with Airtable is you can go ahead and create these different fields and sections. So if I go ahead and just uh, show you right here. Let's say I create an empty table right here. I could go ahead and say, okay, well, here's my task one, task two, task three, and you have all these things. But let's say I go ahead and I want to do a single select box and I say, okay, well, what is this select box? Well, this select box could be importance. Um, and that's, that's the cool part about uh, Airtable is that now I could say uh, low, medium, and high. And now what you can do is you have these different tasks and you could say, okay, well, these two are low, this one is high, and uh, you could put in some notes in here and you can add in other things like, uh, you know, URL and uh, here would be the link to where it is and you could type it in, for example, our website. Uh, backstageincome.com. So you could fill out details. You can even include attachments and pictures. And that's what we do in our task list. So if you take a look, we have some pictures and some attachments. Hey, sometimes maybe this doesn't look good or we need to put a note in there for pop-ups, different kinds of things. We have an assignee in there. And uh, you know what you can do, what's great about this is I could filter it, right? So you create these different views and I could say, okay, what's due soon? Um, how about tasks for George, for me? for somebody else. Um, I could go ahead and do a Kanban view. So if somebody wants to look at things uh, in this view, you could do it that way. If you want to do uh, things based on calendar, you could just view it that way and it pulls the date. If I want to see what's coming up on our blog schedule, hey, here's the things to do and fix up. And um, you know, so all those tags that are tagged with the type of task there, you could do that. And you can do that with this group field and filtered and so on. So. Ultimately here, what I can do is, let's say I can group it and I'll group it by importance. So you can see now I can do low and high. Um, I could also go ahead and instead of grouping it that way, I could go ahead and filter. Well, what if I only wanna see um, high priority tasks? Well, in that case, boom, it'll filter it that way. So that's the cool part about it. And you can create all kinds of filters and sortings and groupings and you know you can do a lot of great things and that's what we do is we use Airtable for a task system for the moment and when things get done it's just done and that way uh, we can just go ahead and delete those items from the database with time but the great thing about this is that if I want to go ahead and let's say pull up um, uh, username or password or anything like that these fields are linked into our other details so when we click this it pops up let's say the username the password all the server details there which I'm not gonna do right this moment um, but if you also go into like hey we need to install a plugin here is the serial or the key if you want to use any of those kinds of things uh, if we have a pro version you can just pop it in it just makes things a lot easier to find and grab as you need it to work and that's why we go ahead and use it so I think that's pretty cool check it out um, you know uh, don't miss it 
you can sign up to it uh, using one of the links that we have uh, at the bottom or end of this video. And I hope it's, it's helpful for you as a task management because you could use Trello, you could use ClickUp, you could use Asana. There's a lot of great tools out there. They're all fine. It's just which one gets you the work done and effective for your team. Hey, they're all pretty good. Just stick to one that works for your personal team needs. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Hope this video was helpful, insightful, and gave you some things to think about as far as building a task system in Airtable. Or if you just want to try it out, check out the link in the description. If you want to check out some of our courses and other great stuff, sign up to our newsletter list. That way you get notified as we release new books, products, courses, and in-depth material. But if you just want to hang out on YouTube, subscribe, hitting the face icon here. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.